Okay, next what we're going to be doing is... What's spawn a familiar? Familiars in Witchery are basically o or not overpowered, but they're super powered pets. And I want to make an owl familiar. So we have a nice little don't ignore Wayla, it's a asphalt pit. And we are going to make owls. Now owls, as you know, are not normally spawning mods mobs in Minecraft. We are going to need to mutate bats into owls. So, in order to do that, what we need is to set up a little mutation area. And to do that, we fill a hole with water, and then we're going to need a dirt block. Let's just throw that out. Grab this dirt, and then we put spider web over the water. Now what we do is we place four graspers down in the corners, and we fill those graspers with mutandus extremis and a charged attune stone. Mutandus extremis is crafted by surrounding netherwort with mutandus, and a charged attune stone is a normal attune stone that's just been charged in a rite of charging with the circle magic. Now, what we need to do is place down some critter snares. We'll place those down, and now we need to fill them with bats. Now, what's the best way to do this? Oh, I guess we can just click right above it. Now, I'm using spawn eggs, but normally you could place these down in caves. Oh. No, that didn't work. Here, let's get... We can use two, but we'll try with two more bat spawn eggs. Just click right above that one. That doesn't work. There we go. So we're gonna make three owls. Okay, now, the animal we're going to... They're annoying. Here, let's get a sword or something, and let's kill the bats. Very quickly. Sword. Iron. Die. I think they're going away. Okay, well, we'll just let them fly around. So now we put in our wolf. And we click on the wolf with our mutating sprig. There we go. And now we have owls. Now we quickly... It recommends doing this inside, but, I mean, I think it's more fun to do it outside and chase the owls. Or, no, it's not. Uh, remember, do this inside because we could have had three owls, but we lost most of them. So let's just go and chase them down, and we'll just feed them. It's, okay, there we go. We got two. Here's the third little guy. And there we go. See, that's a lot more fun than just having them sitting inside waiting for you. Now, which one do we want to be our little guy? There we go. And owls are just like dogs. You can right-click on them and switch them from, like, stay mode to follow mode. So, can we reach that? No, I guess we can't. Okay, we can't reach either of them. So let's just... You know what? Our original owl is going to be our owl. Come here, little guy. We'll switch you to follow mode. Come on. There you go. And he can teleport back and forth. It makes the Enderman noise, so it's a little unnerving, but it's very cool. Just have owls flying around. We need to name them. But now we're going to bind this owl to be our familiar. And this takes 8,000 altar power. So this is where you would need to really have all of the essential, like, plants and animals. Because you also need variety in order to get the most power from your altar. Okay, so where is our owl? Um, you have too many of them. Oh, he's down here. Okay, so we'll put him in sit mode. I think he's in sit mode. We'll push him in the middle. Uh-oh. Here, get out of there. Okay, and we will put in our tear of the goddess, odor of purity, whiff of magic, diamonds, and demonic blood. Now, I'll go over how to get demonic blood in a second. Okay, let's click this and see if this works. Here, let's push him in the middle. No. Is it going to work? No. Okay. Uh, so we need to obviously get the owl in the middle. So let's go ahead and get ourselves a golden lasso. Now, this is not from the Witchery mod, but it's a very cool tool. It allows you to... I really do not like that I put the ember moss here. It allows you to lasso mobs up and then basically tote them around in your lasso. So we now have an owl in this lasso, as you can see. So we'll just wait for this to finish charging up. It'll go fairly quickly. Wow, there you are, little fire owl. Okay. Oh, I don't know which one's which anymore. Okay, how's our altar doing on power? There's fire. 
It's about 3,000. Okay, well, in the meantime, I'll explain about how we got the demon blood, or how we're going to. In witchery, they add demons, which you can summon. And we're going to be summoning a demon in one second. I just wanted to get the familiar first. So basically, once you kill a demon, you get a demon heart, and then you refine that demon heart in the distillery with diamond vapor, and you get demonic blood and refined evil. And now, diamond vapor is used in the distillery as well, and you use diamonds and oil of intral. Okay. Are we ready to try this again? About halfway there. Well, in the meantime, let's go ahead and put on our armor for when we fight the demon, so that way we will take less damage from all of the mob, or uh, not mobs, fire bits attacking us, because fire can attack us. This is really annoying. I'm going to go ahead and break all this ember moss. We should have enough power. Yeah, we have enough. Okay. See, that's really unnerving how they make the Enderman sound because they just like poof, poof, and then like you're like, oh no, I'm getting attacked by Endermans. Ah, let me in, let me in. I don't know. Should I break the window, guys? Should I break the window? I don't know. Yeah, I guess we can. We'll have a nice. Okay, go away. See, this is Jerry the Mall Cop. He is our security officer. And then we have our disc players with no disc in them. So you have to bring your own disc, but it's pretty cool. Then we have a map of, obviously, our compound. So ignore the help sign. Yeah, yeah there's nothing there. Ha <laughs> ha. And then we have our nice receptionist area. And th there's no doors back there either that lead to the missile silo. Don't worry. Ha <laughs> ha. Yeah, that's just, that's, that, this giant pot over here, that's just storage. Ha. Huh. Ha. Ha ha, JK. Nuclear. Oh, wait, yeah. And ha <laughs> ha, JK, turn around. Yeah. Let's just come back over here. Okay, how are we doing for power? 8,000. Awesome. Okay, so we put our owl down, and we push him into this really rain. Hang on, let's toggle downfall. There we go. So the rain should stop. Let's use you. You're almost dead, though. No, whatever. So we put you put your owl down. He has a feather. That's okay. Where's she? Don't know yet. Let's push them into the middle. Ah. Let's put him down there and push him into the middle. That didn't work either. Can we just shift them into the middle? That, perfect! Now you put down Demonic Blood, Diamond, Tear of the Goddess, Odor of Purity, Whiff of Magic, and you right click. Come on. And... Yay! Pidwigian, or Pidwigian. Pidwigian. <laughs> And now you can heal your owl with pork chops. Where is Pidwigian? Uh oh. I think I lost Pidwigian. Well, now's a great time to show off how you resummon your familiars, because I think I may have accidentally um, dismissed him. So we need Rite of Summoning. Is that in the beginning? Right, uh, Protection, Earth's Wrath, Sky's Wrath, Total Eclipse. Yeah, as you can see, they've really put a lot of effort into these. So they're all, into the right, so they're all very cool. Summon a Witch, sign, summon a Dismissed Breath of the Goddess, Hint of Rebirth, Whiff of Magic. So let's get some Breath of the Goddess, Hint of Rebirth, and a whiff, whiff of magic. Cool. Okay, now we put Breath of the Goddess, Hint of Rebirth, and Whiff of Magic, and Pidwigian should be summoned again. Yay, okay, there we go. Now, come on, Pidwigian. We're gonna summon a demon. So he's in sit mode, obviously, so we'll go and fix that. Now, demon summoning is another really cool rite in witchery. Well, this is probably one of my favorite, just because of how you get to do it. Now, you can either use a tune stones, or you can use live villagers. And in my opinion, live villagers is a much cooler way of doing it. So we need refined evil, blaze powder, ender pearls, and a villager. There we go, and now a demon should be summoned, and there we go. Now we can kill the demon with our diamond sword. They shoot fireballs, so they're pretty dangerous. Go, little owl. Yay, and we got magma cream. Now, as, as I said earlier, with making demonic blood, 
sometimes they make um or they will drop demon hearts but it's a rare drop because i mean it's a demon heart they only have one and sometimes i guess you could destroy it god this ember moss is annoying so it's a rare drop but sometimes they will drop them and actually arthanas are lucky swords so if you kill him with an arthana or not lucky they they have a higher looting sword so if you kill him with an arthana you have a higher chance of getting your um you have a higher chance of getting your demon heart from them okay let's put down our nimbus 2000 and let's fly up to the second story come on go up a little more and boom we did it perfectly okay now we're going to be making a brew of bogoda or bogoda something like that and to make our brew of bogoda which is what we're going to be using to fight the horn huntsman we need a brown mushroom some seeds um some a brew of thorns which is just made from putting cactus green mushrooms oil of entral mandrake poppies and odor of purities into kettles uh wool of bat feather and owlet's wing which you get from killing owls so yes it's sad but that's the only way to do it and now you get three brews so i mean we may as well get two more glass bottles so let's get one two and there we go now we have three brews of bogoda and i'm not going to spoil what these do yet but just it's gonna be cool i think you guys will really like it so now we're going to fight the horned huntsman the horn hunt oh quickly let's do doors witchery adds two very cool doors to the game they add a hawthorn or not a hawthorn they don't add a hawthorn door however they do add an alder and rowan and these doors they just look like your typical minecraft doors but they don't open because you need keys so now we can use our rowan door key to open both doors but without it or unless you d if you don't have the key I guess it knows that I made it, but see, now the redstone doesn't work, and now the Rowan door doesn't work. So you need the Rowan key to open the door, like that. Perfect. Okay, let's go summon the Horned Huntsman. I think the necessary materials... Let's grab our broom. It should be... Yep, there it is. The owl's hooting is getting very annoying, but it's okay. Let's fly up over the fence, through the bricks... And let's come down here, get off in the water, and let's grab our bloodied wicker bundles and our sticks. Now, in order to make, side note, in order to make the mutating sprig, you need an ent twig. And now ents sometimes spawn when you cut down witchery trees, like too many of them. So this is, well, we were in peaceful mode, obviously. Let's turn that into easy, and let's get an ent spawn egg. Ent. There we go. Now we have an Ent. And now he will attack us, and he actually deals quite a bit of damage, because we're wearing fully enchanted iron armor. But our sword does a good amount of damage. I think 13 per hit, or 15 per hit, so that's pretty good. And there we go. And if we kill him and we're lucky, he drops... Sometimes he will drop witchery saplings. Let's go ahead and plant that. But he also drops Ent twigs. Now... The Horned Huntsman, it's it's going to be a tough battle, so I believe I put some golden apples in a chest back here, so we're going to go grab those really quickly. Okay, we'll take you off sit mode. Here, we can use the Bloodied Wicker Bundles. Oh, I don't want you to have that. There you go. Owls can also be used as um, transport kind of things, so you could theoretically use owls to bring um, items to other players, but that's kind of... It works, but it's not always reliable. Like, I think they have a limited distance, or they start, like, teleporting, and they can sometimes vanish. There's spiders over here now. Let's go ahead and make it daytime. And we also... We'll just eat some raw pork chops, because that's really healthy. Okay. There we go. And now, to summon the Horned Huntsman, we need to build a Horned Huntsman, basically. And in order to build a Horned Huntsman, you just... You build what you would think a huntsman looks like which is like a person at least i think that's what a huntsman looks like let's go ahead and climb down and we will kill the zombie perfect and now to summon the huntsman favorite part you light it on fire and now he's going to explode i think so let's just come a little bit farther away from him and let's put our brews of bogodas our bodegas on our hotbar now look at this does that work Look, 
Oh, wow, he killed all of our owls in one hit. Uh, is it gonna summon the owls? There we go. So the brew of Bodega, it summons a herd of owls to attack the huntsman. But obviously, there we go, we have four owls attacking the huntsman now. So it's obviously not doing much damage at all, so let's go ahead and kill this guy. Come on, Creeper, you can help us blow up. I think we may have lost our familiar already. Let's go ahead and eat a golden apple. Kill this Creeper. Drop tons of gunpowder. Come on, Pidwigian. And also, if our familiar dies, we die too. So we really need to focus on killing this guy before our familiar dies. Come on, let's eat an apple. Really should have given myself a ranged weapon, but that would have been too smart. Okay. Let's go ahead and kill this guy. If we hide under the tree... Well, he has pretty serious knockback, but I think we- yeah, we're fine under the tree. So let's just go ahead and beat him to death under the tree. Are we? I don't know if we are. Let's go ahead and eat another golden apple. We'll heal really quickly. Let's get a super- I've actually never used one of the super golden apples. Let's get one of these. Grab two of them. Wow. That healed us entirely. Go ahead. Come on, die! You know what? Let's try out a different sword. Let's get out a rapier. We'll use a cobalt one. Now, rapiers are cool because they attack. This is an awful sword. Let's come on here. So, our regeneration lasts for seven more seconds. Let's see how. Die, doggy, die! Let's see how low we can get the. He can teleport. Come on, huntsman. Come on. 63, 52, 41, die doggy. Come on, let's kill this guy. There we go. We killed him and we got a wither skull. So that's very cool. So if you don't want to go to the uh, nether to get your wither skull, you can actually just kill a horn huntsman. And we got three of them. So we can summon a, um, a wither if we wanted to. Okay, and we got a heart for necromancy. I don't know what that is. And we got a spear of the huntsman. Cool. I did spawn one in and put it upstairs just in case because you don't always get it. You have to summon him more than once sometimes, so I just summoned it. There's our broom. It's underwater. Come on, broomy. There we go. Now we will just fly up through the wall. Oh, that's not a nuclear weapons testing lab. Don't worry. And now we will land. That was close. Our broom's going to fall. Let's see if we can catch it. No. Okay. Well, now we will go into our spirit world chest. And we will get everything we will need for the spirit world. Now, the spirit world has multiple kind of aspects to it. And you can either be very lucky and get a dream, or you can be unlucky, which we're going to be, and get a nightmare. So, we'll go ahead and put one of these spears back. And we'll keep all this stuff on our inventory just to show you something. And that is that you're not allowed to bring all of your stuff to the spirit world. So, you may have a very good sword, or you may have a very good armored selection or something but you're never going to be able to bring it all to the spirit world with you because it just doesn't allow you to except you are allowed to bring a spear of the huntsman which is a weapon you're allowed to use so to make your brew of sleeping which is what you use to gain entrance to the spirit world you need purified milk which is crafted from just odor of purity milk and clay jars you need a cookie a brew of love a whiff of magic an icy needle, and a water artichoke globe. And now we right-click with a bottle, and you get three per, um, per batch, so let's go ahead and grab some more glass bottles. Okay. Awesome. I don't know why they're not stacking in threes today. And now we're going to not be able to bring anything but our icy needle, which is another thing you're allowed to bring, and our horned huntsman spear. So let's go ahead and put this into the chest okay that's not right where's i guess well usually you can sleep on a bed so we're, we're gonna need a bed because that's how we we're going to get there later okay and now we have our bed we'll put it right next to the lava we'll stand on top of it and drink our brew of sleeping and now we're entering the spirit world Ooh. and wow I wonder why we didn't bring our spear. That's weird. Well, as you can see, 
It's not a very nice place. And it's a very laggy place, too. And this little guy right here is a nightmare. And he is going to chase us forever. And ever. And ever. Until we die. So, what we're going to do is we're going to run around looking for wispy cotton. Or, I think in this dimension, it's going to be... It's not wispy cotton, but the nightmare version of it. So we're just going to have to run around and look for wispy cotton as we're getting shot at. So let's just go around and look everywhere. We have pink flowers. And the nightmares can teleport, so you can't lose them. Here we go. We have wispy cotton. Or, I guess, disturbed cotton. So we just need to grab as much of it as we can before we die. It's very difficult to grab a ton because you're being murdered. And there's a creeper. And lots of witches. And there's an NPC village, so I guess we theoretically could take refuge there. But that's not nearly as much fun as nearly dying. And once you die, you lose everything, but you get to bring back your disturbed cotton. Now, in order to make it so you don't always get nightmares, you can bring dream weavers, which I have right here. And we have a dream weaver of nightmares. And if we put that above our bed, it'll make it so we don't um, get nightmares as often. So now we'll take another brew of sleeping, and we'll see if we get lucky, and we get a nice, pleasant dream. Yes, we got a dream this time. And you can already tell because of the different atmospheric conditions. Before, it was very dark and unpleasant, and now it just looks like the overworld. And now last time we were killed by the um, animals, so I didn't get to show you this, but this time I will. Actually, first, let's look and see if we can find just some normal wispy cotton. I think that may be some on the hill over there. So we'll just go ahead and look around for some wispy cotton. But as you can see, it's a very nice dimension. There is no night in this dimension, which is very cool. So if you, if you really hate night in Minecraft, you could just move to the spirit world. And it's raining. Let's see if this... Yep, that's wispy cotton. And now when we gather this, we're not going to get disturbed cotton, but we're going to get wispy cotton. So you need a dream in order to get wispy cotton. Okay. And see, wispy cotton. Now we can return to the overworld. Oh, there's a lot of it. Let's get a little bit more. We can return to the overworld by right-clicking with an icy needle. Because you know how if you pinch yourself in a dream, you sometimes wake up? Yep. Boom. There we go. Returning to the overworld. And we are back on top of our bed. Okay. So, as you can see, very, very cool and extensive mod. There, There's one thing we didn't go over in this video, and that's fetishes. And those are just things like binding creatures to scarecrows, and I didn't want to get into that. I thought it would be too much. So we just did this. But all in all, I think this went really, really well. I think we had a great view of witchery. Ow. We learned a lot about poppets and spirit worlds and demons. We had a familiar. I don't know if it's still alive or not. You know what? Why don't we resummon it right now? And very quickly, before we um do resummon... Yeah, they're still around somewhere. I just don't know where. So we need Breath of the Goddess. Hint of Rebirth. Not bint or bint. We need hint. And we need whiff or whiff or whiff of magic. So we throw this in the middle. We right click. It'll grab everything. And Pidwiggy in. Teleported. Well, I think Pidwiggin is still alive. I just don't know if he actually is. Is that you, Pidwiggin? Well, we have one owl who's still alive. And now we're going to make a crystal ball. Okay, and you make a crystal ball by putting oil of intro, a gold nugget, gold ingot, and a quartz sphere. You make a quartz sphere by crafting together quartz blocks, glass, and nether quartz. And you make oil of intro by brewing in a kettle, golden carrots, spider's eyes, mandrake root, eye of ender, potion of night vision, and redstone soup. And now, if we take our crystal ball and put it down on our altar, we can right click and read the future. Future. So I will have a chance to gaze upon the undead. 
and it's just gonna keep saying that until it goes inert and then basically what you need to do is make that come true wormwood and you can make it come true by what, what does it say chance upon the undead I guess that means that I'll almost be killed by the undead so let's see well we'll figure that out another day okay guys well this was the witchery mod we did a lot of I hate ember moss just die it's a very cool mod the, mod. the mod creators did a fantastic job with it. Remember to like and subscribe if you want to see more of New Horizons Labs. Thanks for watching. And that's not a door back there. And bye!